All right, guys, uh, welcome back to another small episode. Appreciate everybody. Uh, again, uh, thanks to all my subs, members, and if you're not either and you just watch the channel, uh, thank you. Appreciate it. So, oh, and thank you, Alina, for the donation. I appreciate that. i got to give a shout out to the uh, people that do that from time to time. Uh, so let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. So my video yesterday... I was talking about Robin Wells, or Robin Wells, Lord, Robin Wells. Does it fit her? I think it does. Anyway, um, the video yesterday was talking about the um, interview Chris done with Robin and her answers to the interview in the truck, so uh, some of y'all picked up on it, uh, and what I picked up on, I told you I had to go over today, so, and a few other things, um, so yes, who told Robin the red truck on the flyer was uh, eliminated, so to speak? Is she lying? And if someone told her this information, is somebody with the is somebody with law enforcement leaking Robin information on the investigation? Uh huh. Makes you wonder. Makes you wonder about that, don't it? Because as far as I know, law enforcement ain't leaking information to Jody Sue. They're not leaking information to uh, Dudley, Andrew, uh, especially Don and Candace, you know. So, yeah, Robin, how'd you get that information? Inquiring minds want to know. And then the other thing I caught too was uh, she goes on to say that I don't think we need to be looking for a red truck. I don't think we need to be looking for a red truck. That's what she said real fast. I barely picked up the A because I was like, did she say they or A? But she said, I don't think we should be looking for a red truck. Um, and later on, Chris, you know, was making sure that he had in the video that the red truck that was on that flyer. So, yeah, Robin Lane, I don't think we should be looking for a red truck. And the other thing, too, guys, is... Even though the, the red truck was uh, elimin eliminated, why not leave it on there, right? And since you've done all this scribbling on the each flyer, you could have uh, just left the truck on there and wrote... This one's been eliminated, but it will look like this for reference. Right? I mean, come on. I mean, the, the general public out there ain't, you know, car enthusiasts or anything like that. Leave the picture of the truck on there. Don't mark through it. And if you're going to write anything, write, you know, like you did, instead of, um, I forget what she wrote by, uh, next to the truck. But instead of that, she could have wrote, um, eliminated and pointed at the red truck. But for reference, it will look like this because of the year 
and all that stuff, the year, make, and model. Um, so people can have at least a reference robin to go on when looking for that. It's just, and, and, oh, and here's the other thing too, you know, um, just like me, I called in one a couple of weeks ago. It was in front of me at McDonald's. Had a ladder rack on it, guys. It had a ladder rack on it, everything. But it was because I don't know my trucks and I'm not a, you know, a car enthusiast or whatever. Um, I called it in and it, you know, people were saying, well, Don, that one's too new uh, to be the truck that they're looking for. I, I don't know. I just seen, you know, like I said, do you want me to get out and, hey, you know, the police are looking for a truck kind of like this. Can you tell me what year your truck is? No, I'm not going to do that. So, um, yeah, leave the picture of the truck on the flyer so people have a reference as to what to look for. I don't even know what happened to them flyers. I don't know where they end up. Who knows what Robin done with them. Now, let's get into the uh, the good stuff here. Robin says that she would have to be a special kind of stupid to buy the truck that um, was used to take summer away. Something to that effect. Really, Robin? You would have to be a special kind of... Well, let's talk about this special kind of stupid, okay? Robin Lane in the Summer Wells investigation. Let's talk about that. And the special kind of stupid... We're going to talk about this for a couple days, guys. I got more I want to talk about. Got a real good one tomorrow for you. I, like I said, I got a couple days here worth of some good stuff that you you want to you want to listen to. Um, but you'd have to be a special kind of stupid to buy that truck, right? So what I want to do, Robin, is I want to talk about being a special kind of stupid. Let's do this. Because you'd have to be a special kind of stupid to take your daughter over to the Wells's. I think you'd have to be a special kind of stupid to spend allegedly half your retirement on the Wells's. I think you'd have to be a special kind of stupid to defend Don for calling thousands of people the N-word. And uh, knowing and not reporting behavior and information to CPS on the kids. Yeah. So let's talk about a special kind of stupid in the Summer Wells investigation. Because in my opinion, with their behavior, their past history, the way they've treated people. In my opinion, it would take a special kind of stupid to support them. 
And uh, that being said, let me let y'all watch something here. So um, I just, I just want to say that I, I cherish my friendship with them and I never want to do anything that would hinder that relationship and that friendship. When Summer comes back home, if and when she comes back home and I pray that she does, I'm hoping that we will be still friends, that we will be unified, that her family will still be together, that her mommy and daddy will still be together, that her brothers will be back at home and that they can all be together as a family. All right. So we got to hear how Robin feels about the Wells. And it's very interesting. Way back in the day that she's talking about Summer coming back home, which means she's alive. Now Candace has come out with some statements about she thinks Summer's alive. And uh, people often ask me, because I have asked a question. I have asked, could somebody be hiding Summer for Dawn and Candace? And multiple people tell me the same answer. Well, who would be stupid enough to, uh, to do that? Let's see, maybe someone that um, takes their daughter over there. Spends, maybe half their, allegedly spends half their retirement on them. And um, defends their behavior when they call thousands of people the N-word and their daughter the C word. Now I'm not saying I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm just saying. A lot of stuff don't sit right with me, guys. A lot of stuff just don't sit right with me. And again, there may not be nothing behind it, but at the same time, you can't ignore you gotta look at everything. Oh, well, that reminds me. Why am I doing this? Because certain people keep saying, well, we got to look at people. We got to look at other people besides Don and Candace. So we, yeah. I agree with you. So we can do this. We can look at other people besides Don and Candace. So, and, uh, here we are. And like I said, there'll be a lot more to come, guys. Uh, again, I'm, you know, doing my own digging, trying to find answers. Uh, and I'm sure once this case is, you know, over, whether they, you know, whether it's, uh, solved in a good way or solved in a bad way um, I wonder how close we'll be to the truth you know what I mean when it all comes out and again we may be far from the truth I mean we all know YouTubers got it wrong with the uh, Idaho 4 case but again we cannot ignore a lot of suspicious behavior in these cases. You know, you just can't. So that being said, guys, let me know what you think. And again, I got some more interesting stuff tomorrow for you too. So stay tuned for that. And, uh, be hitting the road again guys going to do some more interviews i got a lot of interviews lined up put it that way so we'll see what people got to say and uh i'll bring it to you how's that so take care appreciate everybody tuning in i'll see you on the next video